Hello, this is our building that we are going to do. Start drawing your templates on your hard form and proceed to cut it. I used uh, the electrical saw for this cut, resulting some rough shapes, not as you wish if you notice really. It is not that smooth using that electrical saw. For this shape, you will need two parts exactly the same dimensions. This one is uh, the one I used the electrical saw for the cutting. You could see the down is different from the up parts. Those are the final products I tend to have after using hot foam cutter to smooth the shapes. Use this sander to smoothen your uh, foam surface. It will give you some nice final results. To get the best of your sander, use it one way and be patient and be exact to have your final result as you wish. See this rough edge? We will make it very smooth. Using that one direction, I tend to have this final roundy result and it is very satisfying. Be patient, make it smooth, do it roundy. Use the one way method, you will achieve this final result and I think it is very satisfying. Those are the final resulted after that sanding part I did. Using a bottle of water, I achieved the center area as I need. Here is some tau for scale. You could notice that the tau is easily fit inside this building dimension and for this part I will make the door from this base plastic plates unused plastic will be helpful this is the final result after the plastic this is the area where the door must be. You could see those details I used the plastic before. The bottom of the plastic plates was exactly as I needed for the interior floor for this building. Here is my final result of the second part. I used this plastic sheets and cut it in towy shapes and hot glued it on those areas. This is how is my building going to be and you could notice there is some parts where the hot glue did damage the plastic uh, on some areas where it was very hot so be careful for those areas. Cut some shapes from this form and fit it exactly right here. It will look like this. For all these four parts, I will use the same shapes. Our building so far, it is very satisfying results that I am achieving right here. And this tower is for scale. See the T in the details and the damages from the hot glue. Draw some lines for tau shapes on those uh, many towers you have use your cutter to cut straight on those lines as the shapes you draw use some pen or anything to add those details for your parts that you just cut it before. 
there are my four mini towers as a final result I added some uh, metallic uh, base for those mini towers and did some green stuff for the building to make it look more smooth and to achieve better final result acrylic paint used to undercoat the building and this is the parts so far Using the PVA, I added uh, some sand for my base. Black color is used uh, over the building for certain areas to achieve the final result needed for this coloring theme. For the base, I did some dry brushing to give it some sandy floor look adding some flock to the base is not the preferred time to do it at this stage it is better do it at the very last of the project white coat is added and I used then some nail polish remover to achieve those Burning details on the mini towers you could notice and to remove the paint from the areas that I don't need the paint to be on ah don't tell me you did magnetize those mini towers on your base actually I did it is very useful to do so so you could have it in various of shapes as you could see and it will be very helpful for packaging this is my tau for scale and there is something you could notice there you go mini war gaming this is your lo logo i did make it by sculpting some green stuff and this is how my final building is looking right now my first Tao building and thank you everybody for watching please don't forget to subscribe rate and comment